So Ayamawa decided it's time to start traveling again after spending seven months in his hometown of Yabuhanse, Kenya. Decided, you know what, it's time to hit the road and start traveling again. And this time around, Mawa is not going to be traveling alone. Ayamawa decided that it's time he start touring the world with his self-proclaimed wife, Rosio. But something so unfortunate happened during the last video he posted that would deter their plans of travel. Guys, I welcome you to today's video. My name is Shooks and this is Powerhouse of Positivity. If you are coming across my channel for the first time, please do the needful. Subscribe, give this video a like and at the end of the day, let me hear what your thoughts are in the comment section about everything that we are going to be discussing today. So as I was saying, Mawa has been teasing the, his fans, including us, that it's time he will hit the road. In the last video he posted on his YouTube channel, he has declared that starting from this month, that he will start touring the world again with I Am Rosio. And uh, he brought back his shoes. I'll be putting videos of this of what I'm talking about. Now he brought out his shoes. Uh, pre uh, gathered his whole family, the remaining the remaining one that are close to him in the in his hometown of Nebuhanse. Gathered everybody. They prayed for him and uh, bid him farewell. So, Ayamawa decided before he starts his journey, he's going to travel to the capital of Kenya, which is Nairobi, and show Rosio the beauty of Kenya, because Rosio has been in the village living the village life and uh, being shown or being given the princess treatment so rosia has been living the princess life so mawa decided it's time i show you what nairobi kenya is all about i decided to take her around nairobi before they hit the road and start traveling and in that video something very bad happened and guys i have to be honest with you to my fans in Kenya, if you are watching this, please, this is a call to action to please be on the lookout for this guy that you are seeing now. This guy has caused Mawa and I am Rosio a very, 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 in fact, w the offense he committed is not only for, it's not only to Rosio, because the offense he committed is to the whole nation of Kenya, in fact, to the whole continent of Africa, if I am to speak that, if I am to say that, because Rosie has been in Kenya for six months, and throughout that six months, she's been receiving princess treatment, people coming to visit Mawa, bringing her gift, people from America, people from Europe, people from all parts of the world coming to Ayamawa's village just to visit Ayamawa and gift Rosio as Ayamawa's wife and then the last couple of days she had to spend in Kenya you guys have to bring or give her that sad moment like no matter how much she has enjoyed all her stay in Kenya what transpired yesterday will leave a lasting memory in her mind no matter how Mawa tries to treat her well, or no matter how the people of Kenya try to treat her, what happened yesterday will leave a lasting memory in her mind. And for other people watching the watching Ayamawa's video, for them to come to think of traveling to a country like Kenya and see what happened to Rosio, they will be like, is it actually safe to travel to Kenya? Is it safe? And also, I am. I have to say, I am Mawa, a renowned traveler, have toured almost half of the world, and never complained about someone stealing from him or his luggages getting lost. So just imagine what didn't happen to you in another man's land, happening to you in your own country, in your own home where you are the king 
and i have to say to the people of kenya you guys need to do better but this video i'm just going to analyze what happened and what transpired and what led to what happened to rosio and i have to say yes i wouldn't be giving blame to anybody but i am our should have done better yes i know he's a content creator but at the end of the day this is your wife you have to give her a princess treatment until you leave the shores of kenya or until she goes to her father's house or until she leaves to stay on her own on her own but so far that she is with you you have to be you in fact her safety should be your number one priority and i have to say i don't know how many of you are familiar with this sidewalk rule or rule of sidewalk it's only applied to couples or an adult working a teenager or an adult working a younger person so the rule of sidewalk only what it means in in, in general is when as a couple when you are working on a narrow road or when you are working on a sidewalk the rule of side the rule of sidewalk requires the man to be working on the road on the side of the road or on the side of the sidewalk closer to the road to guide and protect the lady so guys let me show you what i mean by a uh, sidewalk rule two couples walking on a sidewalk this is a sidewalk this is the main road as the man you have to be on the path closest to the main road to protect your lady from any oncoming traffic be it traffic or be it anything like if what happened yesterday i have to say it could have been avoided if mawa had obeyed the rule of the sidewalk and i have to say it came as a shock because rule of sidewalk is what i think everybody in africa already know it's not taught in school or anything but it's something that is instilled in you because you already know it that as a guy you are a provider and the safety of the person you call your wife or the safety of your younger ones are within your power you have to do everything within your power to make sure that they are safe so guys watch this video of when rosio's handbag containing her iphone her passport her gopro camera and a couple of money that she has was snatched from her on a road while ayamawa was filming watch this video when we come back i will run this up and i would like to hear what your thoughts are in the comment section below this side the other side okay It has your passport. I told you to read. Oh, your passport. Please, to end the video, forget to say dear man. So I believe you've all seen what happened and what I have been saying about the rule of sidewalk. If Ayamawa had obeyed the rule of sidewalk what happened to rosio might not have happened then again i have to also point out to rosio that we are walking on a street of nairobi this is africa after all and you have a bag you don't hold the bag one-sided if you've been watching ayamawa's video whenever he's trying to travel or whenever he's traveling he's always carrying this small pack that he ties around his neck or around his waist that is the main way to carry a bag or hold a bag when you are traveling on a road on a busy road or any road in particular because yesterday wasn't busy from the video mama was showing it was a sunday and the road was empty so for that bike to come out of nowhere and he said do you know what this is a white lady let me snatch her bag know how know how i'll see something inside her bag and i have to say christmas came early for the bike man because inside the bag is an iphone a gopro camera 
Rosio's passport and some money, some Kenyan shillings that she had. I think Mawa said it's uh, close to 2000 or something. So all together, the value of what is inside I am Rosio's bag that was snatched yesterday was close to 20,000 Kenyan shillings, according to Mawa's video. So guys, let me know down below in the comment section. Do you think what happened to Rosio was planned by people? Because for a bike to come out of nowhere and decided the first person I'm seeing, I'm going to snatch her bag. And then it happened to be Mawa and, her, and his wife. Do you think what happened to, um, to Rosio is a thing of being at the wrong place at the wrong time? Or do you think it was planned? Also, do you think or give me an instance if you were in that same situation, what would you have done? I'll be ending the video here and I'll urge you to please share your thoughts down below in the comment section. Let's have a dialogue. Also, give my video a massive like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a nice day.